a minister coming from Nagaland, seen as uh, one of the Twitter favorites, certainly. He has a huge uh, support on social media. Mr. Anglom is here. Uh, several leaders of the party, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, has started arriving. Uh, he is, of course, the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister, uh, four-term Chief Minister of the state of Madhya Pradesh. The state of Madhya Pradesh goes to polls uh, later this year. He has uh, a tough task ahead to really uh, be the defender in that very important and crucial state, one of the biggest states of the country as well. So, uh, let, let, let me bring in uh, Tushar now on this. Tushar, we are seeing in visuals, uh, you know, the kind of uh, the focus, the, the focus that we see um, that is there on elections um, of the B, uh, by the BJP leadership becomes important, you know. Uh, we have seen how the BJP leadership emphasizes on each and every leader. Uh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, the uh, Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister, arriving. Uh, he has an important task ahead. Uh, he was earlier a member of the BJP Parliamentary Board. Remember, there was a complete rejig that the BJP Parliamentary Board has seen recently with several new faces being inducted. These are the veterans of the party who have served the party at several stages and continue to understand the ideological uh, journey that the party has had. Uh, member of Parliament and uh, MPs of of, of, of the BJP have all started arriving for this crucial national executive of the party. Um, high on symbolism, uh, high on messaging, but in fact, uh, now we can see um, Ashwini Vaishnav, uh, Raj, uh, Railways Minister, arrive here for the national executive. Uh, of course, uh, he, his role became important and it was only in 2021 that he made an entry into the government and after that uh, he is uh, seen as, uh, as someone who enjoys Prime Minister's trust because he holds very important portfolio, the railways and also holds the IT ministry. Uh, uh, Yogi Adityanath, Chief Minister of uh, Uttar Pradesh is expected to arrive any moment. Perhaps the visuals have started coming in of uh, Yogi Adityanath's arrival as well. Remember Remember, he fought a very important battle only recently in 2022, won for the party and has ensured that after that it is about investment in Uttar Pradesh. The narrative is about ensuring that the state develops and it marches ahead on the road to development. But the message from the BJP National Executive is certainly of uh, the road ahead. What will be the messaging that will be going forward by the party? That is the reason why 350 delegates from all across India have arrived here who will be holding deliberations. The message from the Prime Minister, the message uh, from uh, the party president, Mr. J.P. Nadda, becomes important. Three resolutions in all. There will be an assessment, a review of uh, the pravas that has been done, the travels that has happened by various, uh, uh, you know, uh, union ministers and MPs of the party to various, uh, you know, districts and constituencies which are being seen as weak constituency, where 440 constituencies where the BJP did not do well in 2019. So celebrations are certainly at the NDMC Centre. That is Sunil Jakar, one of the new entrants and, of course, a former Congress leader from the state of uh, uh, Punjab uh, has arrived here as well. All these leaders, uh, keeping with the tradition of the party, being welcomed by the karikartas of the party and in ensuring, yes, if the camera could pan now and uh, show the arrival of Yogi Adityanath, the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, who, cre who, who has only recently won the state and has created history. Uh, the Chief Minister who returned to power, first full-time Chief Minister to return to power, a state which was won overwhelmingly by the BJP, Yogi Adityanath there, a member of the BJP National Executive who will be participating and understanding the road ahead. He has an important task certainly because the state of Uttar Pradesh sends 80 MPs to the Lok Sabha. Last time around, the BJP managed to win 72. Uh, will it be a 100% strike rate this time around? That remains to be seen. But we have also seen a very aggressive opposition in the state of Uttar Pradesh. But a state which was never won by the BJP, where the BJP returned to power first time in 2017, winning big and returning with an even bigger mandate in 2022. So Arun Dhata continues to be with us. We also have Siddhant. Uh, Arun, what is the schedule likely to be today? Okay, Home Minister Amit Shah, Home Minister Amit Shah has arrived. Oh, we can see those visuals any moment. Nitin Gadkari, 
uh, former BJP president, no longer member of the BJP parliamentary board, but member of national executive, uh, surface transport minister of the government of India, present here. Mr. Nitin Gadkari, uh, one of the most popular faces also of the party, has arrived for the national executive. And now, national executive is seeing the arrival of the former BJP president and Home Minister Amit Shah, uh, one of the most popular leaders of the party. Uh, Home Minister Amit Shah there, you can see, accompanied by Anil Baluni and also a BJP IT cell head, uh, Amit Malviya and other leaders of the party, Jay Panda, vice president of the BJP, accompanying Mr. Shah and other leaders are all there. Uh, that is Home Minister Amit Shah arriving for the BJP National Executive. Remember, he has been extensively traveling. He has been traveling the northeastern states. He has been in southern parts of India. He has been strategizing in, 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 in just about every state. He is known as, uh, in many ways, the, the man who, ha who has made this BJP, the new BJP. He has been the architect of that, the architect of multiple elections that the BJP has won. Home Minister Amit Shah has arrived. So perhaps in the next few minutes, we can see the Prime Minister reach where Siddhant is, that is the Patel Chowk. Uh, several traffic advisories have been issued in central Delhi where there are diversions which have been put in place so that the Delhi ice are not really inconvenienced. But yes, this is a day of big strategy, big celebrations for the BJP as, as uh, the national executive uh, begins and also uh, an important national executive of the party but also the one which will uh, carve what will be the road ahead. This is a party which doesn't take anything for granted. No election is taken for granted and that is the reason why we are seeing these deliberations elaborate of them being held here. Let me uh, bring in Siddhant. Siddhant, if you can hear me now. Yes, Maria, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. What are you seeing there? And in fact, the Prime Minister is going to arrive in some time from now. This is what I can sense from the way security personnel have started behaving. In fact, there is a special security arrangement that has been made for Prime Minister's road show today because of the recent breach of security in Prime Minister's road show last time around. <laughs> Okay, we seem to have some problem with that line with Siddhant. We'll try and connect with him in just a bit. Uh, but Arun is continuing to be with us. Senior leaders of the party, 350-odd delegates, have started arriving for the national executive of the BJP. The last national executive was held in Hyderabad. Uh, uh, and, and now we are seeing perhaps what will be the na last national executive before a very important election um, in uh, nine states of India and also in the, sta in, in the big Lok Sabha elections. So the messaging becomes important. The message that the Prime Minister would be giving to the ex executive members will be carried forward to just about every state of India. That's where it will be the trickle-down effect to uh, which the, they will be telling the Karikartas what is it that the Prime Minister wants communicated to the cadres, what is it that the Prime Minister wants communicated to the supporters of the BJP. Uh, we can see other leaders of the party arrive, ML Khattar. Haryana Chief Minister present now. Uh, Manohar Lal Khattar has arrived. Uh, other leaders uh, uh, can be seen as well. Uh, in fact, Mr. Piyush Goyal, Union Minister, has arrived and is being welcomed by the party leaders uh, at the National Executive of the BJP. Um, Arun Data Siddhant continues to be with us. Uh, and uh, Arun, uh, several leaders have arrived. Uh, so, uh, what will happen before the Prime Minister arrives here, Arun? That's, that's Arun, right, Maria. All the top leaders, including you, yes, yes, including Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, uh, they all have arrived here at the premises of uh, NDMC Convention Centre, and uh, all.